Today on America's Court with Judge Ross. I have moved on. Um, I've, I've been out dating a couple times. I actually had a brief encounter with a woman, and it turns out she's about six weeks pregnant. So, you know, how was that for, you know, a low sperm count? Did you know that? In my courtroom, it's about equity and fairness. Did you slap him? I did slap him. Stop. In that scenario, who should pay for it? Justice should be more than just some foreign concept. I actually want you to learn something. You don't provoke people when they're dealing with issues involving their mental health. Now, as a parent, that's the takeaway. Fair, firm, compassionate. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Kelly Sands claims her ex-boyfriend loaned their IVF money to his friend without consulting her and says the money hasn't been repaid. Ms. Sands is suing Mark Sayers in the amount of $3,000. All rise. Remain standing and come to order. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties are sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Deputy Thomas. Ms. Sands, you were trying to have a baby with Mr. Sayers. Yes, sir. And now you're suing him for $3,000. It didn't turn out the way you had planned. Yes, sir. What happened, ma'am? He spent the money in our joint account without my consent. And the joint account was designed for what purpose? Solely for our IVF journey. Okay. And you were talking in vitro fertilization. Yes, Your Honor. You all had decided that you wanted to have a child together. We did. How long had you been with the defendant? About three years. And what was the reason for uh, going with the in vitro? Um, we tried the natural route um, and just weren't successful. Talk to me about Miss Sands. What, how did the two of you meet? Give me some background. We actually met through mutual friends, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, we hung out a couple times, and I just really loved her energy. You know, she's an artist, and I look at computer screens all day, so I just thought it was a natural fit. And she just really bought out some really fun things inside of me I didn't know I had. How long were you all trying to get pregnant? It was a while, Your Honor. How long would you say? Um, it was about a year and a half. Uh, about two years before we took our break. Yeah. All right. You guys were together for three years. Correct. Yes. Yeah. I take it you tried non in vitro first. You were trying to get pregnant. We did. And then what ended up happening? Did someone say, oh, we have an issue with you, with him, with both of you? What was the We deal? both went to go seek medical help and, and several tests. And as it turns out, um, he did have a slight lesser... Chance. You're trying to be tactful. I'm trying to, I'm trying to say it nicely. Um, there were some issues. The problem was was pretty much on his end. Okay, is that true, sir? They were swimming, Your Honor. Uh, that's what I know. You guys put monies aside to go through the process. How much of the monies did you utilize to try to get pregnant? We used all of it. Whatever we needed at the time, we would both jointly deposit into the account. How much money are we talking about? Um, each round was roughly $13,000. Um, half the insurance took care of, and $7,500 was on us. The insurance was covering you all intentionally? Half. Trying to get... Oh, I didn't know that. All right. Yeah. And you, you're $13,000 in and still no result. Correct. And then what happened? We immediately took a break. We were exhausted. We were kind of discouraged a little bit. I hear that it's a brutal it emotionally, is. physically. What was your state at going through the process? Because he's trying to be supportive, but you're the one that's actually. Um, it was it was hard trying not to be overbearing, you know, to the love of my life, and mm -hmm. just the whole concept of just not being able to <laughs> reproduce is one whole subject at its own so did, did you feel as though you were having reactions to the unsuccessful aspects of this process unfolding I knew that there was a darker cloud above me um, it was depression did hit um, still does um, mm -hmm. it's not something that you can easily swallow mm -hmm. um, seeing so many other people easily having babies and going on making their families. Well, Your Honor, I want you to know that I was there for her every step of the way as well. Your Honor, I, I helped her with her injections. I put her medicine out properly. I rubbed her feet. I made her meals. I was there for her in every way, shape, and form. But Your Honor, sometimes she would just 
she would lash out at me. Sometimes she would just yell or it just it felt like nothing I ever did was good enough. And it just got to a point where I just felt like I was banging my head against the wall trying to figure out how to just be the right man for this woman. I always acknowledged him with the back rubs and the feet rubs. And I told him thank you, but it was I wanted him to listen to me. And if I wanted to talk, I just wanted to be able to be hurt without being ridiculed. I always felt like I heard her. I never ridiculed you. Your Honor, I never ridiculed her, I swear. Coming up on America's Court. They were going through some financial troubles, so I decided, because I didn't have enough money. On his own, without consulting me. Well, it was very difficult, Your Honor, for me to consult with her with anything that didn't have to Not do even with in vitro. To consult because me. ultimately, everything that I would ask or say was wrong. And later, I walked by that area all the time with Rover, and I didn't notice anything that day. So again, I'm assuming she's assuming it was Rover, and I'm assuming it was another dog. I have the DNA results. Closed captioning provided by. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. America's Court is back with the case of Kelly Sands, who is suing Mark Sayers for $3,000. There were monies that were put into a joint account specifically for the in vitro, correct? Yes, only for the in vitro. At some point, you made a decision to take the monies that were allocated for that and put them towards something else. Yes, Your Honor. What happened? What made you make that decision and explain for me how that played out? Well, Your Honor, I have a childhood friend. Uh, his name is Charles. Yes, sir. And Charles has a family himself and a wife, and they were going through some financial troubles. So I decided, because I didn't have enough money... On his own without consulting me. Well, it was very difficult, Your Honor, for me to consult with her with anything that didn't have to Not do with in vitro to because me. ultimately everything that I would ask or say was wrong and she wouldn't have understood. Not but even I an thought you would took the money. Yes, Your Honor. That was designed for the two of you to focus on having a child and you gave the money to Charles with the expectation he would give you the money back? Yes, Your Honor. Did Charles give you the money back. No. Do you feel you would be doing the right thing by replacing that $3,000 that you took out because you made a commitment, you made a, pretty much a contractual agreement with her Your to Honor, put this money towards this cause? Yes, Your Honor. And I was. I was going to replace the funds. Did you tell her that? Yes, I did. Did he? No, Your Honor. When I mentioned, Your Honor, that I was going to replace the funds, she immediately lashed out at me when I told her the situation. Because you told her after you had already taken them no, out. No, he said he would figure out how much he would give me. That is not true, Your Honor. You can't figure out how to give something that was he jointly in the account. He would figure out what portion of the $3,000 he was going to give me back. You're suing right now because you feel as though he should pay all the $3,000 back to you we both, Your Honor, put money into this account. That was why I exactly. asked you this I question. Don't, I don't expect... How much money's in the account now? Zero. All right. And did you exhaust that amount for all of the in vitro, or did you end up taking out the remaining money? No, it was yourself? solely medical. It was all, right. all on the process. Do you feel as though his portion of the contribution is $3,000 that's still outstanding? No. Um, we both went in this together. Right. So to say, give me the three grand, I think it would be crazy. However, but that's what I, you're suing for. However, I am suing for the three grand today because he didn't give me that opportunity. As a well, couple, you just said to ask for $3,000 would be crazy. And lo and behold, you're asking for $3,000. I'm asking for the three grand after what he did to me. I'm just trying to figure out by giving you $3,000 and now you're not doing in vitro, that's just handing you over $3,000. It's not like it's going towards the in vitro now. So why are you entitled to get monies that aren't going to the in vitro? Because I don't think it's fair that we both go in for something and he all of, it, all of a sudden just wants to go ahead and make the decision and pull out. Charlie had nothing to do with us trying to grow our family. Anything else, sir? Your Honor, I... Because bottom line is, 
You're not in the relationship anymore. No. You don't want to have a child with this woman. No, Your Honor. You want to move on from Miss Sands and go on about your life. Well, actually, Your Honor, I, I have moved on. Um, I've, I've been out dating a couple times. I actually had a brief encounter with a woman, and turns out she's about six weeks pregnant. So, you know, how was that for, you know, a low sperm count? Did you know that? Congratulations. Why would, wait, why would you wait to tell her that right now? That seems kind of cruel. What is cruel, Your Honor, is standing before this woman and telling her that I was helping a friend and that things would be okay. And then she constantly attacked Your Honor, my masculinity. Just told me, and she spoke babe, about something's my, going on she spoke with Charlie. About my lack we were of already count. She on spoke a about how it's, we our, it's my hiatus. problem or my we fault that we weren't I'm able to produce. Woman. So therefore, it was. It, it, and I thought we were on the same playing field. If we are in a relationship and we are talking back, about intimacy, the definition the of intimacy is because Charlie will never I pay you another penny back. You do not see me. Never will he pay another penny back. So you're going to be dead. Yes, Your Honor. Based on the evidence and the testimony before this court, the gavel will come down in favor of the plaintiff. Because you entered into an agreement and that money was already allocated for that purpose. Are you going to get $3,000? Not up in here, not today. But I think it's not unreasonable for you to get at least half of that. Thank you. This may feel like a lot right now, but it's a raindrop in a tornado because you will find the person that ultimately you're supposed to be with. Things happen for reasons that we don't understand in the moment. And so maybe you just weren't supposed to have a child with this man, but it doesn't mean your journey is over. $1,500 for the plaintiff, that is the order. Case closed. All rise. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $1,500. Congratulations. I think you're going to be an amazing mother. Coming up on America's Court with Judge Ross. I have the DNA results. And when your dog, Rover, was matched up, it turned out. Closed captioning provided by... This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Charlotte Harrison claims her daughter's prom dress was ruined and says her neighbor is to blame for not picking up after his dog. Ms. Harrison is suing Jim Carson in the amount of $1,000. Ms. Harrison, you're suing for $1,000. Apparently, your daughter had an issue with her prom, and it all had to do with Mr. Carson and allegedly his dog correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Tell me your story. Well, my neighbor and his dog, Rover, are always leaving a mess around the condominium. He never picks up after his dog, and there is poop left everywhere. And I've asked him very politely many times. Is there just one times, dog in the area? Uh, no, there are, more than one, there are more than one. So there's several dogs in the vicinity. How do you know that Mr. Carson's dog, Rover, that's the dog's name, sir? Yes, sir. And how long have you had the dog? I've had him since I moved in seven years ago. Okay. He's a pit bull. Uh, this is a picture of him. He's a very sweet Watch dog. I'll take a look at the dog. He's a very sweet dog. Uh, you know, my neighbor, uh, Miss Harrison. Well, hold on a moment. How is he getting out of the house if the door is closed? Does he well, know how? I have the screen door open. You know, so the, sometimes he so pushes on it. So there's been occasions where you've had the screen open. Yes, sir. And Rover, with all of his energy and hyperness and and uh, fearlessness will find a way to be outside of your abode. And what about this issue of you're seeing uh, just poop randomly at different locations and you've concluded that the poop belongs to Rover? It's always in the same two spots and I've seen Rover there himself. Ah, it's sort of like marking his territory, if you will. Yes. Coming up on America's Court. She's in her beautiful gown and she steps right into a mess left by Rover. And when she tried to move out of the way, this is a long dress, it gets dragged. Closed captioning provided by. This is America's Court with Judge Ross.
America's court is back with the case of Charlotte Harrison, who is suing Jim Carson for property damage. We're here today because I'm wanting the money to pay back for all the damages caused by my neighbor and his dog that completely ruined my daughter Helen's senior prom night. She was all ready. I paid for hair, for her makeup to be done by a professional makeup artist. I got a beautiful gown for her that was not cheap, mind you. I have They all, never are. They never are. And I have all the receipts. <laughs> right here. Oh, well, you, saw me. you got the receipts, huh? Absolutely. She said, I'm bringing receipts to you, Boss Ross. No check. Yes. All right, so we have hair, we have makeup, we have gown. Of course, we have to have the shoes. The shoes, the prom ticket, the photo package. I mean, she and only gets one night. She's in her beautiful gown, and she steps right into a mess left by Rover. And when she tried to move out of the way, this is a long dress, it gets dragged and it's all over the bottom of the hem of the dress. Was there any sort of thought behind trying to clean it up? Oh, I tried. I don't think there was enough soap in the world to clean off the stain on this dress. She was upset. She didn't even want to go at that point, and I was still trying to scrub the bottom of the dress when her boyfriend got there, and she mm -hmm. was just so upset. She said, look, Mom, I'm sorry, but I don't even, I don't even want to go anymore. I understand that the dog needs to go outside and everything, I understand that, but I, this could have been avoided. I've asked him so many times, politely, I don't want to continue to pick it up myself. I walk by that area all the time with Rover and I didn't notice anything that day. So again, I'm assuming, she's assuming it was Rover and I'm assuming it was another dog. So I don't believe that she can, even with the DNA samples she says she's getting, I don't believe uh, that it's Rover. Judge Ross's verdict when America's court returns. Promotional consideration provided by. This is America's court with Judge Ross. I have the DNA results because you all live in the location where they've just implemented some sort of sampling of dogs who live in the area. Yes. And you voted yes, let's do this. Yes, of course I did. The certificate of DNA analysis, doggy DNA. And when your dog, Rover, was matched up to the poop that you collected and you gave them. Yes. It turned out it was not a match. If it's not a match, then someone left poop who would be responsible for all the things that happened. That someone, however, is not Mr. Carson. So based on the evidence and testimony before this court, the gavel comes down in favor of the defendant. Ma'am, your matter's dismissed. Case closed. All rise. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. I'm sorry it came down to this, but I kept insisting that it wasn't Rover, and you didn't believe me. I apologize for thinking that it was Rover. Um, I would greatly appreciate, though, if you would continue to pick up after Rover and make it an effort? I want to be friends and I will certainly try and do that uh, for everyone's sake, including Rover's. Follow America's Court on Facebook and Twitter.